If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What's going on folks? Mr. Bucketlist here. And today I'm on the beautiful wonder of the seas where I'll be giving you all a full review and tour of the mason jar and let you know if it's worth it or not. Let's check it out. Now at the time of the recording of this video, this actually was the newest restaurant in the fleet of Royal Caribbean ships, and then ship was new as well. But unlike my fellow companions on YouTube, I didn't want to rush to get this review out. I want to take some time to kind of reflect back on it to truly give you all a full, honest experience. So here we go. Now, starting off with the decor of the restaurant, the atmosphere, it was just, it was cool. It's really clean looking, it's really laid back. Um, yes, it is a Southern style venue. And I mean, when you first walk in to the left, you have this really cool little um, this bar area that has like a stage for like performances and things like that. And then to the right, you actually have the restaurants. Like I said, it's a cool place to come out, even if you don't want to eat, if you just want to come and listen to music, it's got a really cool atmosphere to it. Now, keeping up with my full transparency, I did come to this restaurant during the brunch time. So they have two different options. You can come during brunch, which is about $24, or you can come during the dinner time, which is about $50. I wanted to come during brunch because one, I didn't want to come when it was packed. Um, also, I didn't really know if I was gonna like the food or not, so I didn't feel like I wanted to go all in. And then when I actually compared the menus side by side, I mean, for the most part, they almost looked identical. Yes, dinner had a couple more items, maybe about four to five, at least from what I saw, a quick glance. Uh, but nothing that really stood out that I said, you know what, I need to try this. So I definitely recommend, if you're on the fence about this, definitely come during brunch, and then if you really like it, maybe come back during dinner. Now, like most restaurants, they do start you off with an assortment of breads. Um, now, being that this is a southern restaurant, it is going to be a little bit different, so kind of keep that in mind. But I thoroughly did enjoy the breads. They are really good. And then I also decided to get this drink here. I believe it was called a peanut butter and jelly. It was some type of moonshine. One of the strongest drinks I've ever had. I'm not a moonshine drinker. I'm not a drinker at all. And it literally knocked me on my feet. I could barely even just sip on it. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you do get a drink, they are very strong here. Now, when it came to the entrees, I decided to get a couple of different um, just courses because I wanted to try just a variety, of course, for this review and just to see how this restaurant truly was. The cool thing about this restaurant is you can tell your server that, hey, if it's just me or hey, it's just me and your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever you're with, if you all want to sample things, but you don't want to get the whole actual course, let them know so they can almost scale it to you. So for me, since I was eating solo, by the way, um, I asked them if you can just give me solo portions so I don't get too much and look crazy and I'm not wasting food. And so that's what he did. And so I was able to try quite a bit and it was actually really good. Now, one of my favorite things I got right here is these little flapjacks that had um, pulled pork on it and then it came with coleslaw. It was a strange mixture, but it was actually really good because it was so unique. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, the one aspect of this meal that I was extremely disappointed in was the chicken and waffles. Um, it just was so generic. It literally felt like they just took a piece of waffle from the buffet and a piece of chicken from like a, a Dollar Tree and just warmed it up and put it on my plate. I'm just like, what is this? Like, it was just, uh, I've seen pictures and I've seen other people's reviews. and I think we all have the same kind of just consensus about it as far as just that chicken and waffle. It was just, everything else was decent to great. This was just, uh, I just did not enjoy it whatsoever. And then for my dessert, I decided to get a cinnamon roll. Um, now it was very large, it was very thick, but it was almost pretty tough to cut through. So it wasn't my favorite. I'm a huge Cinnabon person. And so if it's not Cinnabon, I just don't really like it. I know it's as generic as it sounds. I just love Cinnabons. Um, but this one wasn't my favorite. It wasn't bad, it just, just wasn't my favorite. Now, before I complete this review, I just wanna say that the obvious comparisons of Cracker Barrel are here. Um, and I'll tell you right now, so someone that grew up in the South, someone that has relatives that are in the South that cook Southern food, no matter what you do, I mean, it's just really hard to replicate true Southern food if you're going to a, a restaurant, whether it's on a cruise ship or whether it's a generic restaurant out in a, a large city. It doesn't really matter, almost all the same. And so that's how I feel about this restaurant. It's not blow your mind amazing, it just has that generic Southern feel. But the thing that makes it so special is, 
Rarely do you go on cruise ships, at least the ones I've been on, where they actually have southern style restaurants. So if you're a southern person and you want to have that type of food while you're on a cruise, this is going to be your best bet to go to. It's not going to be perfect, but at the same time, it may hit that kick that you're looking for while you're on the cruise. And so with that said, I would say maybe try it out. Definitely, I strongly re recommend doing the brunch menu so you can see if you like it and then maybe come back later on because it's half the price. Um, but I mean, it's a cruise ship. You have so many different options that are complimentary. There may be no reason, especially on a ship like Winter of the Seas, to go here if you're not really into Southern food. So maybe try it out. I would do it again for brunch and maybe not dinner, but definitely for brunch. But I'm not in a rush to do it again, if you know what I mean. Um, it's just, it was good, but it was like, okay, I've done it. Let's move on. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be cranking out a lot of cruise content coming up like I did in the past. I'm getting back to my cruising again. So hope to see you there and I'll see you soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.